I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com, and I'm at IBC 2019, and I am with Till from Carpet Light. How you doing today? Hi. Good. <laughs> Excellent. We were walking by your booth, and I saw these LEDs that were on this, well, like a fabric. Very, very interesting. Yeah. So tell me about your new product. Yeah. Well, it's uh, not quite a new product. It's uh, on the market for four years now, and um, we're using a unique technology uh, using embroidered threads to power up the LEDs on our fabric. So um, the idea behind it was um, all other flexible solutions that we experimented with uh, were not just flexible and durable enough to withstand the daily onset use. The, <clears throat> the work that I've done as an electrician myself for 25 years showed me that um, anything that works has to work on set, has to be made extremely durable to be used for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was experimenting with these products before, I found out that no technology except for the conductive thread technology, which is originally invented to heat up electric heated car seats, would be the method to go for. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And it's not an easy process. These are all made by hand? Well, it's a semi-automated process. Part of it is done by a machine and uh, part of it is done by hand. So that also gives us the possibility to do repairs on our products very easily because uh, we can uh, simply repair single LED carriers on our, on our fabric, which is okay. also very good for our customers. Excellent. So talk to me about how the carpet light is, it has a backing and how it's mounted, mm -hmm. all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the actually light emitting part of carpet light is a very thin layer of uh, ripstop nylon. And uh, we have another um, back shell that's also ripstop nylon and um, a front part that's uh, made of a so-called three-dimensional spacer fabric and a special uh, optical fiber that's uh, turning the dot of the LED into a string, into a line. Mm -hmm. So uh, this combination of these three layers is actually the setup of all carpet lights, no matter if it's a small cappuccino, which is standing right behind us, or a big 8x8 carpet light. They're all made from the same materials. Excellent. And how are they mounted and powered? Well, um, all the lights can be battery operated or use an AC adapter. Uh, the currency we're using in the lights is 48 volts, so it's still safe in, in the low voltage area. Mm -hmm. And um, the lights can be mounted on frames. For the smaller lights, we supply frames, foldable frames with, that come in, in a kit with a light. The bigger lights, the 8 by 4 or 8 by 8 they go on standard butterfly frames. Okay. And uh, next to mounting them on a frame, they can be easily adapted to any shape, to any form, to any surface by just taping them, uh, using Velcro, um, strings, whatever you need to fix a piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. And they are really light, so being able to tape them to walls is yeah. very easy to do, and overheads, uh, that, that's part of its versatility. It also, talk to me about how soft the light is. You, that's one thing that I also noticed immediately, it's that it's not like you know a grid cloth. It has a very nice, warm, sort of soft uh, look to them. That's, that's what I was uh, explaining, the, the, the top, uh, the, the front layer of our, our lights. It's, a, uh, it's two layers on each other. It's that spacer fabric that's doing the mechanical protection and also a little optical spread of the LED light. And then the, um, the optical fiber that's on top. And the combination of these two layers, that's actually creating the unique soft effect of the light. So it's, it's already a soft light without having, having uh, any extra diffusion. Yeah, and that makes it a lot faster to set up. Yeah, yeah, you can use it just pulling it out of the box, out of your backpack, wherever you trans care to transport it in, and you switch it on and you're all set. Yeah. And that's another thing that I notice is that you can sort of just crunch it up, fold it. You don't have to really worry about, you know, taking up a lot of space. No. These 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 large panels can really break down fairly quickly. Yeah. yeah. There's no more worries how to store them. I mean, if there is any bag or any uh, box you want to squeeze them in. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> what sizes uh, are you, you making and what type of kits do you have? Uh, 
At the moment, we've got six different sizes, uh, starting with a two foot by half foot model. That's the smallest one. Then uh, the next size is a two by one foot, a four by two, a four by four, an eight by four, and an eight by eight. Very nice. Yeah. And give me a, a rough like the pricing on, on, on how they work and the different type yeah. styles. At the moment, uh, the smallest model starts at uh, one and a half thousand euros, and uh, the big one is ending at twelve thousand. Yeah. And they all come with the diffusion already in place. You don't have to add them. There's no option for if you wanted to get more output. So exactly, uh, they all have that built-in diffuser, and uh, there is an optional. Uh, thick diffuser available that goes on top. If you want to have it a total homogeneous feel of lighting and with no more individual LED dots, then you can use the extra diffuser that comes on top. Yeah. And as far as modifiers, uh, I saw that you have, it looks this, like snap bags. Uh, yeah. Of course, we also offer the well-known snap grid uh, as a optional piece of equipment that p works perfectly with it. Excellent. And we talked a little bit about battery power. Uh, they, you have a controller, and are they all? Is the controllers all pretty much the same size, depending on on how big you go and and, and, and the size of the controller? We do have different sizes of controllers to, to uh, adapt to the different sizes of lights. So the the smaller models run on a small control unit, and the larger units all on a bigger one. But basically, they have the same software setups and and uh, options that go with them, yeah. And in studio situations, you have um, some kind of like a DMX or wireless control? Yeah. Um, all the uh, units have a um, um, DMX jack on the back, so you can connect them with a, with a cable. But um, the larger units have a Lumen Radio chip built in, so they can be remotely controlled by any devices using the CRMX protocol. And what type of CRI are we seeing with the, the lights and the type of output to expect from different panels? Uh, CRI is 96 plus and um, color rendition has uh, been tested by television stations and movie productions. So this, this has been passing all the tests. Yeah, anything in those high 90s is really good. Yeah. Uh, and output, is that kind of, how do you, do the Lux ratings? I know there are different types of panels that are going to have different types of output. Range-wise, <laughs> let me check. Yeah. <laughs> we are starting at 3,400 lumens mm -hmm. for the smaller unit, and we're ending up at uh, 38,000 at the big one, yeah. the 8x8. Mm -hmm. All right. We got it covered? Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Dill. Yeah, you're welcome.